Boom. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mostly Football. It's episode 19. Tonight, the WNBA Finals are currently on TV. Game two, the Las Vegas Aces versus the Connecticut, not Suns, but Sun. Just one Sun here. The Connecticut Sun. The Connecticut Sun. Currently, the Aces are up. We'll get into that. Also, NFL Week 1 oh, is having Bay Bay. Man, lots of storylines to get into there. College Football Week 2 in the books. We're going to look ahead to NFL Week 2, talk about everything going on there. Also, there's a lot. There's we got a lot. lot. Yeah, lots to unwrap. unwrap here. If you watched UFC 279, you watched one hell of a fight between Nate Diaz and Tony Ferguson. We're getting into that. We got the post fight press conference pulled up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Effers. Welcome back to another episode of Mostly Football. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Like I said, we are live. We are here. We are watching game two of the W, not NBA, the WNBA finals. That's right. The Women's National Basketball Association for women only. And currently the score is, hold on, we got a advertisement up here. 36-25. Connecticut Sun just came 37 with that free throw there for the Las Vegas Aces. Connecticut driving down, top of the arc. Picks that up here for number 23. Nate, I told you I'd get familiar with the rosters, and I did not do that. So <laughs> we're going to do numbers for a little while here. Uh, oh, Plum. You said you were familiar with Plum there. She's not I'll, happy about the call. Chelsea Plum is probably the only one I'm familiar with. Um, but that's really it. Not familiar with Asia Wilson at all, huh? Not at all. Interesting. In the league there's, very few, there's very few WNBA players that I'm really familiar with. Um. Uh, Ooh, a nice dish underneath there for Connecticut, and oh, she couldn't finish underneath. That's okay. But yeah, how about let's start with uh college football week two in the books. Your Georgia Bulldogs won again, of course. Who would they take on? Samford Bulldogs. The Samford Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Samford Bulldog Bulldogs. Violence. Just terrible, terrible when that happens. Um, the big game early was Texas taking on Alabama, number one ranked Alabama at the time. Alabama, if you are an Alabama fan, this is going to be my go-to for everyone. Start panicking, okay? It's time to panic. If you yeah. are, oh, nice shot. If you're an Alabama fan, you need to panic, okay? That team, they should have lost that game on Saturday. If they if Texas starting QB don't go down, um, Texas wins that game. Alabama wide receivers are non-existent. Alabama, I'm putting it like this: Alabama is in a rebuild. They don't have their all that all that NFL talent they once had is no longer there. The only person they have NFL talent wise is uh, Will Anderson. He's the only one defensively, offensively, there's no – and Bryce Young. Other than that, they don't have – they're not that powerhouse they used to be. So it's it, it's, it's going to be a long, long ride for Alabama this year. I mean, obviously, they're going to dominate the teams that they should dominate. Um, I, I think it's bullshit that they get to play Lafayette next week. It's horse shit. Like, who? How? Like, how, how do they keep getting these easy games? Week one, they play Utah State. Then they get Texas. And then they get Lafayette. Really? Hey, that, that's that's what we're doing here? They're just playing the hand that was dealt. Nah, bullshit. So Alabama pulls it out 20 to 19. By the skin of their ass. And honestly, about- there was a safety that should have been called on Bryce Young. Really? Yeah. There was a safety that they got away with that – should have been a safety, but Alabama got lucky. Yeah, I missed the whole thing. I was out. I was out with the wife, the uh, the mother, the the daughter, just doing. Oh, oh no, you can't not not around. You got to plan. You got to plan better. Oh, uh, here's the thing. Here's what's even better. Okay, so we're out. 
we're doing the festival thing, right? We're enjoying our festival food. We're sitting in this little picnic area. And all of a sudden, it just starts pouring rain. <laughs> and so our immediate instinct is to get under a tree. And we got my daughter there, right? So it's like, mm -hmm. ah, we can't let the baby get soaked. That's a bad look. So we all start to get under this tree. You know, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the patriarch at this point. I'm the man. I'm, I'm, I need to, to step up and lead the herd because we're just sitting there underneath the rain. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I look over and there's a food tent with plenty of space underneath the canopy right there for us all to go underneath. And so I look around at my wife and my mother, and I'm like, "Let's go under, <laughs> over under there." And they're both just like standing there. You know, there's a whole thing. But anyway. I ended up being a really funny conversation later. Uh, inside jokes were made, but here we are. So I say all that to say this. Um, how about Marshall taking down Notre Dame? Notre Dame is straight dog shit. Wow. They're dog shit. Okay. Notre Dame is not good. They hadn't been good since Manti Teo and then Manti Teo's documentary was released and they still ain't good so um Notre Dame's done it's I mean it's, they're done they're finished you you can't Ohio State that's respectable you, you can't bounce back from Marshall not Marshall I don't think this is uh Byron Leftwich playing for Marshall again not 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 Marshall you, you can't lose to Marshall not only did you lose to Marshall Marshall came into your building and Beat you. I mean, how about Marshall going to two and zero, oh, Notre Dame going to zero oh and two, just living in different worlds right now. Jesus Christ! And then follow that game up with this. TJ is going to love this one. <laughs> Texas A and M. They got the rank. Texas A and M. Appalachian State. How do you the Appalachian State? How do you lose? How do you lose? Absolutely. Appalachian State is. That's a warm-up game. Everybody look forward to playing Appalachian State. How do you get beat by Appalachian State? Yeah, that's, a tough one. One. that's a tough one. That should never happen. That ain't yeah. a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one for the sixth ranked Aggies. I, I listen, sixth I'm sorry. Rank. The sixth ranked Aggies. A lot of top ten teams went down this week. Oh, this was a, I actually watched this game. This was a great game. Took up my whole the, the game I was able to watch. Iowa State versus Iowa. And, <laughs> I was and, dude, I'm telling you, this was a thrilling game. 10 7. I know, low scoring. But Iowa is awful, dude. It came down to the wire. I think it was, Iowa. Iowa is awful. Overtime, either They're one. awful. They're an awful team. They've been an awful team since last year and the year before. They're awful. I, you know these inter these inter interest. This was an interstate rivalry. These rivalry games they have like fun trophies. I think they were fighting for the golden pancake or something out there in Iowa. I don't know. It was really <laughs> you they can't you, 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 around and stuff pouring maple syrup all over it. You Whatever just they do in Iowa, but uh, yeah, that was that was a good game. You just can't. You you really you just can't. It, it, it's you can't do that. Boy, Texas Tech and Houston came right down to it. Red Raiders beating the 25th ranked Cougars, 33 to 30. Good for them. Uh, North Dakota taking down Northern Iowa, 29-27. I'm just reading close games right now, just for the heck of it. And uh, yeah, that seems to. Here's here's a, here's another game that you missed. What I missed. Georgia Southern taking down Nebraska. Whoa, that's right. How about that? <laughs> and Scott Frost is now fired. <laughs> Man, goodbye, Frost. Pack you, it up, buddy. <laughs> you can't lose to Northwestern and then come back the following week and lose to Georgia Southern. You can't tell me there wasn't a headline in Nebraska that said Frost bitten. You can't tell me. That had to be all over the papers. Dude, that, that how, I mean, how do you coach UCF to be that great team that you had, and then you yeah. come to Nebraska and you forget how to play, you forget how to coach? 
I mean, think of the talent around a guy like Scott Frost. You had Blake Bortles. You had Brashad Perryman. You had, I believe, both Griffin brothers. I mean, speaking yeah, of he, Griffin. Yeah, he did. Uh, Shaquem Griffin, I believe it was, recently retired from the NFL. To, yes. So shout out to Shaquem. Yeah. He, he, I think he's going to be a uh, – he's like an advocate now. So he, he he's going to help out. He's still next to – he's still near the game, but – He's going to be in an office role. Hey, how about this? How about my Syracuse Orange taking down the Yukon Huskies? What, 48 to 14 to go to 2 and 0, baby? Let's do this thing. Yukon's a basketball school. Don't do that. Ah, Syracuse is a basketball school. You can't take that away from us. I mean, this is, <laughs> it's getting crazy in the dome, baby. We're two sports school now. <laughs> so you, you got to play Clemson. The three sport if you count lacrosse. I don't know if you do, but oh man, uh, college, college, it just is. It's been it's been an interesting year. I had a feeling this this year, as far as football was going to be exciting. I just didn't have any idea of how exciting it was going to be. Apparently, Stanford lost to USC 28 yeah, 41, and then Michigan absolutely took it to the Rainbow Warriors. Out there in Hawaii, fifty-six to ten. Uh, I, I I don't trust Michigan. Michigan's gonna they're gonna crumble at some point. I think Ohio State's going either Ohio State or Michigan State's gonna make them fall first. Uh, BYU going into double overtime against Baylor to win twenty-six twenty. That must have been fun. You check out the highlights of that game. Uh, you've got that pretty much wrapping it up. Uh, Louisville barely taking down the aforementioned UCF Golden Knights, 20 to 14. Boise State and New Mexico both one and one now after Boise State beating New Mexico Lobos. Um, and then uh, Missouri State, whatever they are, took out UT Martin. Yeah. Yeah. The most interesting game of, the, of, of probably Saturday had to be Alabama, Texas. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch the highlights. Did not see. Yeah, it, it was, it, it was a, it was, it was a defensive game, but Alabama has something to be worried about. Nick Saban has something to be concerned about. So, just a little update here on the game. We are currently at just about twenty-five seconds to go at the half. Oh, and we've got the Connecticut Sun with a strong layup right there to go to thirty-seven forty-three. And whoa, this your girl here, Kelsey. What's her face? Plum. She is full of piss and vinegar. I'll say that. I, would, I, I don't know. I, if I had dated her, I would sleep with one eye open. I'll say that. <laughs> she seems like a girl that throws things, not just basketballs. <laughs> you know, if you got awesome. sharp knives around, if you got heavy objects, an ashtray, maybe just be careful when Kelsey Plum is in the room. Seems a little aggressive. But, yeah, the Aces, you know, they won the first game. Seem pretty well in control of this game here. Connecticut Sun. Again, not the Suns. Sun. Single. Single. I don't know. The way the way the Sun, the sun plays, it's, that's weird. Dylan Moran in the house. And you know what? Since my guy Dylan's in the house, he reminds me. Um, Nate, you're not in that particular league, but... We did have week one of NFL go down, and before we get into the actual games, we might as well talk about how your fantasy matchup went in the uh, SOB League, the Strikeout Beer League. Um, what do you think? What, what's your roster looking like? Who are your heroes? Who are your zeros? What's AJ, going on? A.J. Brown oh, is the hero, and I'm in three leagues. I have AJ Brown in two of them, and I won. And I won both of those leagues. Oh, big surprise! <laughs> After a day Jalen, like that, big surprise. Jalen Hurts, my guy, saved me. They they played a great game against Detroit. I knew they were gonna play good. I knew they were gonna play great. I just didn't know how good. Here's the um, thing. I know you said you wouldn't trade me AJ Brown. I'm not trading you, AJ Brown. But You're not at what, here. Just look at what DK Metcalf was able to do with Geno Smith at the helm. <laughs> Tell me you don't want that on your team. <laughs> AJ Brown went for AJ Brown went for almost one. What it was it? One thirty? 
it was fine. You know, he's not going to do that again. It was fine. Even swap. <laughs> even swap. DK for AJ, right? No, now. hell, what? That's not an even swap. That's I, not even close to even swap. Same college, you know, <laughs> same draft class. Ain't, ain't no, that's not even, you, you, you on drugs if you think that's an even swap. All right. Well, who else? Uh, who else did you? Uh, who perform? Who did not perform on your team that you kind of are panicking? Who about? did not perform? Let's see. Uh, Allen Robinson, big time. Cam Akers, oh, bigger time. Joe Burrow scared me. He scared me. Okay. Not gonna yeah. lie, but he bounced back. He 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 bounced back. How about oh. that heavily invested O line looking terrible? They look. Awful. They look god awful. Granted, okay. I mean you're playing against the defensive player of the year, but still. No, no, but still. They play dude, that team, that shit look awful. They look like they didn't practice all preseason. It looked like they've never had a snap together. They look terrible. And you can say, well, we played JJ Watt. Okay, cool. So what you're saying is the Buffalo, I, lying, yeah, the Buffalo Bills is better than your. No, no, I'm sorry, no. You, you, your, your offensive line is shit. It's either your offensive line or your offensive head, your your line head coach. That's what it is. It's it's you got to be one of them. It's either the offensive line is shit or your offensive line head coach uh, uh, coach is shit. One of the two. Somebody's there's 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 a misconnection because Joe Burrow got his ass. He got his ass handed to him. Seven sacks, five yeah, turnovers. For a guy that just had his what appendix replaced or something or removed, dude, that shit looked awful. I'm just happy Jamar Chase got his numbers <laughs> because I been upset. Big time Mixon, I think, got plenty of work. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna have a lot to prove coming next game. It's it, it, they don't have a they don't have a lot to prove next next game. Um, and, you know we're talking all this talk about Cincinnati. It, Pittsburgh ends up winning the game. How about that? Oh Overtime. my god, the doinks! Oh my god, these kickers! Uh, there was a point where even the announcers were like, "Oh, what is going on here?" It's like <laughs> no one wants to win this game. I feel bad for I, I feel Cincinnati kind of was at a disadvantage. They did lose their long snapper. Um. But that's still not an excuse. Yeah, it's not an excuse. Come on, come on, dude. You 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 gotta you gotta do better. No, you, no. You got to. Yeah. Um, my team. I don't even know what to say. Honestly, they played well, great for three fucking quarters, and then obviously we all know the same same old same old. Fourth quarter comes, and they fucking forget how to play football. Blow a 16 point lead and we lose the game. So I'm sitting there with my cousin. You know, he's wearing his fresh Julio Jones jersey, you know, but it's still Falcons. You know, he's a diehard. And it's like the joy on his face for the first like two, three quarters. It, it reminded me of the Super Bowl. It was That's crazy. the best time to be like, a Falcons fan. <laughs> the first three like, quarters. Just watching, you know. Passes being hit and Drake London looking fresh and defense. I'm oh my god! I mean the defense looked great at times. We looked awesome. The whole the deep the four sacks is probably the most sacks we've had in one game Oof. in some years. Our defense was flying all over the place. They were playing great football. We 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 stopped Kamara. Elvin Kamara is one of the top backs in the league, and we Kamara held him. doing nothing. I think we held. I think. For fantasy, I think he had like seven and a half points fantasy. So I'm like, okay. So and then somehow we just fucking forget how to play football. And Michael Thomas catches two clutch touchdowns in the fourth quarter, and then there goes Ali. There goes and, the game. Uh, didn't your boy Taysom Hill show up in this game? Taysom Hill, he was good for the first quarter, and then that was it. He had 81 yeah. yards in that one touchdown. That was it, which is good. We held down. But again, fourth quarter came, and I, the the only silver lining to this whole that whole game was our offense looked great, Mariota looked great, our defense looked awesome. For whatever reason, we can't we get coaches that don't have balls. 
It's just that simple. We, Quite for whatever that. reason, all our coaches come in and like, oh, we're up 16 in the fourth quarter. Let's play conservative. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why? You would have seen like more pushing down the field. Yes, push that shit. Go for it. Make them the make the Saints defend you. Make them have to play your brand. Don't slow the game down, and then you give the Saints an opportunity to play their brand of football. You keep playing your brand of football. Don't fuck around, and and then you get caught. And then this this is the shit that pissed me off. Don't go into a a, a press conference talking shit to the reporters. You you don't have the right to do that. Your team just blew a lead. You do not get the right to go into a press conference mad because your team just lost. And they're going to talk shit about you. Who did that? Arthur Smith. That's who did that. Talking about, oh, y'all buried us in, in before the season started. You're damn right. I buried your bitches too. <laughs> and they will keep burying your dumb asses until we figure the shit out. Like I don't, I don't understand why we can't, why we can't get coaches who can finish games. I can't even blame the team. I can't blame the team anymore because it, a lot the, the team's different. It's a different, like different players. We, for whatever reason, it's like we have this same old fucking. It's the same culture here. It is crazy. I mean, they had that game in hand. There was one point, it was what, 26 to 10? It was 26 10. Yeah. At late in the game. Yes. In a fourth quarter, there's no reason the Saints should have had an opportunity to come back. We should have put this fucking game away. Like, we we get to the fourth quarter and we don't score any points. None. All we need, get in field goal range, kick one fucking field goal. And, it, and, we, and then we win the game. But we can't do that. So, um, if you're a Falcons fan, shout out to Young Way Koo. I mean, one of the greatest kickers in the NFL right now. 19 points. He gave me 19, well, 18 because the block field goal, they took a point. But he, Young Way Koo, man. Um, There's something I want to talk about. So, the Colts cut Rodrigo Blankenship today. Wow, didn't know that. I don't know why they cut him. Because he's been the most consistent kicker they've had since Adam Vinatieri. Oh man, that's he won't last long on the market. He'll get picked up. And which is which blows my mind is like why I didn't understand. Like he missed a game winning kick and you cut him. So does that mean you're gonna cut Matt Ryan for fucking losing to the Texans? Throwing interceptions against the Texans? I don't know. I, that is strange. You go, are you gonna cut your second round draft pick who fucking dropped a, a wide open pass in the end zone? Are you gonna you gonna do that? What's his name? Alec Pierce or something? Yeah, Alec uh Alex the kid Alec. from Cincinnati. I don't like, know. I, was gonna, I wanted to do a joke, but it was too dirty. I was gonna say Alec <laughs> Dick Pierce and it wasn't even that funny. Like, like I, 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 I don't I don't get it. I, I didn't understand it, but um there's a lot of teams that might want to start panicking. Trey Lance is not as good as he he he's been advertised. Well, okay, so nope. I told you that we're not doing the weather. We let's just back up really quick because you mentioned the you mentioned the Colts Texans that ended up being a tie, uh, twenty to twenty. The Texans actually look kind of good. At some the Texans point. look awesome. The Texans the look game. great defensively. They look great. Um, offensively. They had a couple bright spots. OJ Howard showed out. I didn't know he was at the I didn't even know he was with the Texans. Um I think he gonna I think he's gonna make a great weapon for Davis Mills. I mean, I was telling this to my small circle of friends who I didn't think would tell anyone so that people didn't know I said this. But now that it happened, I'm gonna let it out. Texans are my dark horse team for sure. Like I think I did say this in our predictions. I thought they could win the South. Dark Horse, the winners. <laughs> uh, th- Dude, look at what happened. No, nobody has a win in the AFC South right now. Uh, that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. How about They're that? Good. Nobody, they, no they, team they has look a win. And two Defensive, teams played each other. Defensively, they look great. 
Lovey Smith, Lovey Smith is a defensive coach, so his defense is gonna always look good. Um, Davis Mills is improving. He looks uh, good. He's sharp. He's yeah, good. He is. He looks. He looked good. Um, if I asked you right now, would you rather have Davis Mills or Zach Wilson, or maybe even <laughs> Mac Jones? I mean, you would be at least think about it. I, I, I no, I, no. Zach Wilson, I'll think about it. Mac Jones, I'm taking Mac Jones ten times out of ten. Okay. Um, but the Texans did look good. They look, they look good. Um, so they're tied. They're both. Uh, I mean, the Colts were like a Super Bowl pick for a lot of for a lot of uh, people. So, well, they currently have a tie on the board. Matt yeah, Ryan, you know. Matt Ryan is Matt Ryan. So. Matt Ryan is definitely Matt Ryan. But uh yeah, which which game did you want to jump into next year? Uh the Niners. Oh, the, the Niners, Niners. Niners and Bears. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Trey the Lance looked, game. Trey Lance looked awful. He looked like he he's I don't know if it was just week one jitters. I don't know what it, he looked terrible. Can I ask you something? Yep. Did he look like a guy who played one full season of college football for North Dakota State and then played a single game the next season because of COVID and then played a few packages in the NFL last season? Did he look like that kind of guy? He looked worse. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like – it looks like this. Okay, if he has two or three more games like that, Jimmy G is going to be the next. It's going to be if a star. We were, if we were Jeff Ross and David Tell, I'd bump your mic right now. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> he looked worse. He looked worse. He looked awful. And I'm not trying to hear, well, it was a monsoon. Cam Newton played in in, in, in that type of weather. Aaron Rodgers played in blizzards. Uh, uh, Philadelphia's played in fucking blizzards. I don't want to hear the weather thing, okay? Well, I mean, you I don't think those guys ever had fantastic games in, you know, those conditions. You 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 should have beat the Bears. You let the Bears come. Not only did you let the Bears, your defense played like they played lights out until the fourth quarter because I guarantee you they were tired. Yeah, I mean, Mooney did nothing. Montgomery mm-hmm. did nothing. It was an ugly Defensive, mostly Bears game. Most definitely, you, most definitely ugly game. But do you think it was straight up just because it was in Chicago? I mean, it, it's home field advantage. What swung this game? No, no. Uh, what swung this game was Trey Lance's inability. Not just not. I can't just the the Niners' offense inability to put up points. Yeah, that's what it was. Your your defense can only hold on for so long. And then with a with a, like a guy like Matt Ryan, right? Your defense can play; they can hold him because they don't have to worry about chasing him. They don't have to worry about him rolling out the pocket going one way, then throwing back across his body the other way, completing a fucking forty yard pass. They don't have to worry about that. But you when don't you have play, to buy Matt Ryan, yeah, you can be more creative, right? But when you play a guy like Justin Fields, after a while, his his legs are going to beat you. His, right. like, and that's what exactly what happened. He started running. He started moving. And you saw the outcome. They end up losing. Well, and, I mean, to be fair, this, I mean, last year, Justin Fields looked terrible. As you're saying, Trey Lance looked terrible. And now we're seeing improvement with him. So oh, don't get me wrong. Justin Fields looked like dog shit. He just a polished <laughs> dog shit. Don't get me wrong. Because the, the fact that he rolled left threw it right and got lucky and completed it. Yeah, no, that, that, no, that was a luck. That was just pure luck. I'm, I think next week, cause they play, they play green Bay next week. We won't see that. So yeah, Chicago is at green Bay. So we'll, I mean, that's going to be a true test of fields early in the season here with, uh, I, mean, I don't know. Green Bay. Yeah. Ask Justin Jefferson how their defense looked, but don't um, panic. If you're Green Bay, if you're a Packers fan, <laughs> don't panic. Remember what, what happened last year? 
They got blown out by the Saints in week one, and then you ran the table. Don't panic. Trust Aaron Rodgers. But San Fran is at home against Seattle next week, so this will be a very good opportunity to see just what Trey Lance is made of. You got two awful quarterbacks playing one another. That's going to be a boring ass game. You were j- before the show, folks. Don't let this man flee. Before the show, he no. was singing Geno Smith's praises. No, no, and no, now, no. now we hit live, and he wants to get a bunch of likes and go viral. <laughs> I'm telling you, he Geno likes Smith. Don't get Geno Smith played great. Yesterday was an emotional game for Geno Smith. It's his first start in God knows how long, and he he actually he has the full reins to this offense. So. It is what it is. Um, Geno Smith is still not a great quarterback. Um, Nathan Nathaniel Hackett is a fucking moron. Man, I've heard a lot of criticism go his He's way. He's a fucking moron. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because that was that was a Monday night game. Before, let's go kind of chronological here and clear out some of the Sunday uh, rest of the Sunday games here. Let's. Uh, so we we did Saints Falcons. We did. 49ers Bears, we did Steelers Bengals. Let's talk Dolphins Patriots. The let's Dolphins talk, look let's talk to Miami Dolphins taking down the New England Patriots they, 20 to 7. They looked good. No, Ooh. fuck good. They looked great. The defense. Their defense that defense was all over Mac Jones Mac Jones' ass. Um the offense. Oh my God. The offense looked good. Um, Mike Gesicki, I'm going to need him to get some more touches because uh, I need him to perform for me. Um, other than that, um, that Miami – the only thing I got an issue with is Tua's arm. That's my That's my thing. Which is fair, yeah. It's – you got Jalen Waddle and you got Tyreek Hill. I mean, I get it. You know, Clance, is very accurate. Anything like thirty yards or under, he's gonna be very accurate. Yeah, like I, yeah, Tyree, like so. You mean you tell me so now they gotta run crossing routes and slant patterns? It's Alabama you, all over again. It's RPO. It's you know make sure the running game is effective so that you can throw slants. Absolutely, and that's and that's what it looked like yesterday. Um, the Patriots defense looked awful. Man. Um, they did. They didn't play well yesterday. They didn't play not, well. At all. Not expected for a Bill Belichick defense. No, they didn't. They didn't play well. I didn't see a lot of pressure. Um, it, it their run game was awful. The offense was awful. Everything, just words that you would never use to describe a Bill Belichick's team. <laughs> you, you have to use it. It look everything. It just they look sluggish. They look awful. They looked nothing. Look nothing looked good. Nothing yeah. at all. If I, if there was one thing, if I was to say one thing, Jacoby Myers looked good, and that's about it. Hey. Other than that, I mean, they, they were very lackluster. You know, n- nobody really got it going on the ground between if, Harris Stevenson. If I'm them, I'm pursuing Odell Beckham. Oh, you have to. You got to. You don't have outside of Devontae Parker, Hunter Ooh. Henry, had a catch. and John Smith. Who are your real wideouts? Like, I mean, who are your real pass catchers? Underrated. Don't get me wrong. No, he's a, no, he's a, he's a very underrated receiver. But I mean, outside of that, like, who you really have? Like, you don't have. They played threat. Aguilar. We. Okay. You're not going to tell an Eagles fan that Nelson Aguilar. <laughs> I know all about Nelson Aguilar. <laughs> I know you do. There's a lot of heartbreak with this, with, with occasional hands uh, Aguilar. The emotions that he brings up. I mean, <laughs> oh man. Um, no, the the Patriots got a lot to fix. Yeah, they got a lot to work on. Uh, if they want to have to, to compete in this division. They have a lot to work on. And you know what's weird is I almost think it's a too many cooks in the kitchen type thing. I mean, you've got Patricia and Brady and like whoever's on defense, Gerard uh, Gerard Mayo along with Belichick's kid. 
Like it just seems like too many guys and not just like one. Who's the, who's the offensive coordinator? I kept right. hearing Matt Patricia's name as the offensive coordinator, or is it just Bill Belichick? I, I don't know. Like I think Patricia's calling the plays, which is scary as hell. That is awful. Why? Why? Why is your defense? <laughs> no, get your you. That's what you have to give Belichick. He's a very loyal man. No, nah, I'm sorry. I can't. I got to I got to go get the best offensive co- offensive play caller that's on the market at this point. I can't. I'm not fit to sit here and listen. I'm not. I'm not fit to do that. No, I'm, I'm not about to sit here. You you had an. You had a chance as a head coach. You're not going to sit here and waste my time. You better call that defense and sit down. And the defense uh, looked like shit. How about Lamar Jackson uh, turns down a contract from Baltimore but still lights it up on the football field? He is not going to get his money. He was offered what? Something around like I, not quite Deshaun the- money, but. The one thing I saw, I think it was like two fifty total or two ninety. So it was like two ninety with the incentives, with a hundred and eighty of it guaranteed. So I'm okay, like somewhere Deshaun around got like two thirty guaranteed, right? It's Cleveland. Cleveland's fucking retarded. Or I don't, I don't know. Yo, it's like two forty guaranteed for for Deshaun Watson, but That's it's Cleveland. Cool. Cleveland's fucking retarded. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's true, but the other quarterbacks see that, and they're like, oh, I got to get that now. Kyler didn't get that. No, exactly. Um, but the thing, is, the thing is, is that Lamar has to understand, like, it's a market. It's going to be a business. And will he get his money, the money he's looking for? No. Not at all. No. He's not going to. And he's going to have to, at some point, accept whatever offer they give him. Or he's going to leave. And then what's going to happen is if he does leave, he's going to end up on a really bad team because all the good teams can't afford him. So he's going to end up on a team like, let's say, the Jets or uh, Carolina, for instance. So it's. Now, it's, he has won a playoff game. So the, there has been postseason success. Yeah, he has, he's won he a playoff game. But how many times has he been to the playoffs? Right, right. Um, but um, the On offense the side of the ball. I mean, pretty much what you expected with Flacco with the helm. Yeah, absolutely. They, I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect the Jets to do too much. Um, yeah. He's Lamar. Look, I mean, the offense looked as good as it's going to get. Obviously, with uh, was it Rashad Bateman and surprised me with that big. Touchdown bomb. I mean, how about Bateman? Yeah, yeah. He he. It Duvernay. Uh, Lamar. I mean, Lamar. I'm sure a lot of there was a lot of Mark Andrew owners who were kind of upset. <laughs> of course, yeah, of course, yeah. Because he didn't produce, but uh, I think J.K. Dobbins is J, J.K. Dobbins should be back next week, which will help with the offense. It'll help. It'll help Lamar out. It'll help probably open up the offense and keep a lot of those guys out of the box and yeah. keeping the eyes off Lamar. So we'll see. Uh, the Jets are at Cleveland next week, so we'll see if they have any more success with that. My game of the week would have to have been, and this might be a ooh, nice block, and this might surprise you. Tight to New York. I just thought your girl put in a, put in a layup. What's our difference? I wonder. I just watched um, Plumley huh? put in a layup there. I think there's a difference. I oh, think it's a- okay. I'm a little behind you. I'm a little behind. Do you okay. see the block? I the block. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah, you're a ways behind then. Um, so my game of the week had to have been the Giants and Titans. Oh, of course, Giants and Titans had to have been my they. Derrick Henry. I thought Derrick Henry was going to run all over their defense. Okay, I know this is weird, but just for the sake of like staying with these one o'clock games, I want to close out the one o'clock games real quick. Uh, Jags Commanders. What did you think of that one? That was a fun game. I like you know Carson Wentz look Carson Wentz Carson Wentz looked good for it being a week one. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's going to be continue. I don't I don't I don't think he's gonna it's going to continue, but he has. 
Johan Johan Dotson and Scary Terry are going to play a big part in that offense, and Antonio Gibson too. How about the pressure of playing your former coach who you have a Super Bowl ring, but you have it from being on the bench under this guy. And you already, you know, you got traded from the Colts a a year. It's like, I can't imagine, like, looking across the field and seeing Dougie P over there and (laughs) performing the way he did. But, you know, props to Carson. They they look good. Yeah, they, they didn't look bad. They look good. And you know, and based on what's what, what's happened, was that a um, commander's blanket I just saw? What was going on there? Huh? Was that was that a commander's blanket I just saw? <laughs> what? You would never <laughs> see that shit in this house. <laughs> um, I think I think I think they they look if they can stay consistent. If Carson Wentz can stay consistent and stay healthy, I think they'd have a chance at the division. Well, what's interesting is okay. So Curtis Samuel looked healthy and very useful. Oh, he, he played got, great too. He looked good. And then if they can pull off a few more wins, all of a sudden, week five, you get Chase Young back. I mean, yeah, oh and then they yeah, help that defense. Yep. Um, because that because the defense started to get a little tired, a little lax towards the end of the game, which gave Jacksonville an opening to like potentially come back. But all in Man. all, they, they're able to hold them off. I mean, honestly, me as a Travis Etienne owner in a couple of leagues, yikes. <laughs> uh, James Robinson got a lot of work here, and he got the touchdown. So that's I, think he'll, I think he'll keep getting the work. I, yeah. I think he's going to keep getting that work because he's that guy. So that's so. something to keep an eye on. Christian Kirk looked really good. They clearly have a connection, him and Lawrence. Um, I, I, still, I still don't understand that signing. I still don't understand what the what what was the reasoning out of all the good receivers that was available. Uh, I did, I didn't understand that one. Six catches, 117 yards. But like um, you said, Carson Wentz with the four touchdown passes. I mean, my God, 28 to 22 command commies win the first game of the season. Hey, hey, he played great. He 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 definitely played great. Um, again, he has to stay healthy. Yes. Stay healthy, stay consistent, and then they'll have a chance at the at the division at least. Next, we will go to Detroit, where, as I told the guys on Strikeout Beer, when we had a, a fun phone call, I, I didn't do a, a live like video thing. I called in; it was cool. But uh, if you listened last week, you hear you heard me tell those guys the Eagles would not cover the spread of being favored by four. Sure enough, they didn't. The score ends up being 38 to 35 after, I mean, as soon as I saw DeAndre Swift bust that like 60 yard run to start the game, I knew it was going to be a long day and it was Detroit is going to be a scrappy team. I mean, Goff made a few plays here and there. Like Swift looks good. The defense is pretty scrappy. Detroit's what we thought they were going to be. Right. I mean, I, I said they were going to be like the, the fifth worst team next season. So they'll do this all season long, just like they did last season. They'll fight teams to the end and then they'll lose mm-hmm. uh, what Detroit has been doing lately. So uh, Eagles, if you're looking for bright spots, Jalen Hurts look great. AJ Brown looked great. Unfortunately, Jalen Hurts, there were times when they were shutting down him running to the right. And when he runs to his left, it is ugly. I mean, he was like, Shovel passing it out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, I saw a couple of those. It, yeah, it, so. it, it looked bad, but you know, he 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 helped me win my my league, so I can't complain. Can't. So we about four and a half minutes left in this uh, NBA WNBA uh, finals game. Two Connecticut Sun pushing. They're in the paint, push out to the arc, and oh, off the rim. So we're here sitting here. Ace is fifty three. Connecticut Sun forty eight. But yeah, uh, Derek Barnett, Philadelphia Eagles defensive end, tore his ACL. He'll be out for the season. Curious, I didn't see who they are going to elevate, so I, I do need to look into that. I think Teron Jackson's already on the active roster, so <laughs> got to look into that. Eagles pull out an ugly win, thirty-eight, thirty-five. I heard a stat though. That I, I heard a stat about Mr. Jordan Davis. So apparently, when Jordan Davis is on the field, that. <laughs> Apparently, when he was on the field, yet y'all are allowing two point three yards per rush. 
when he was off the field, y'all were averaging 10 yards per rush. Wow. So he, he, he's going to be a very impactful player. I, I, I do wonder, not to be too much of a, a, a contrarian or a dick about that, but like, does that take into account, you know, are there maybe third down plays he's not in on that are like third and twos that turn into third and, you know, the guy runs for 10 yards? You know, I just wonder if things like that play into it. But ultimately, that does tell the story that Jordan Davis is uh, contributing well to run defense. So he needs to be on the field more. I think, I think, I think with Fletcher it's Clark, Fletcher, it's, tough to, it's tough to shoehorn my, shoehorn him on the field with Cox and Hargrave. Exactly. So I think that's the issue. I think with Fletcher Clock, Fletcher Cox still being there, I think it's going to be hard to like really make an argument as to, okay, let's give him more time on the field. So I think, I think, I think right now, I think they're going to kind of just ease him in, you know, here and there. Like if Fletcher Cox need a break, I think they're going to kind of rotate them in and out. But I think, once he starts making those plays that he made in college, I think that's where his more play time is going to come in at. Well, what's nice is it's a lot more fun to learn from your mistakes yeah. on a win than uh, on a loss. And the final 1 o'clock game of the day was Cleveland Browns traveling to the Carolina – to the Carolina – to Carolina to take on the Panthers. Technically, to North Carolina, right? I mean, Charlotte, but – they go to North Carolina. They take on the Panthers. This was supposed to be Baker Mayfield's revenge game. He said he was going to kick their ass. And <laughs> well, enough, and his words were, his words, I'm going to fuck them up, is what he's saying. Oh, I changed it even. I made it more, like, friendly. No. <laughs> and he 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 didn't play well until the second half. That That's when he, he didn't really start playing great until, like, wow, what the f- what's that? I'm watching your girl Plumley that looked like a carry. Not gonna lie. He, so Baker Mayfield didn't really start playing great toward to like the second half of the second half of the game. Um Christian McCaffrey, maybe his body's not built out of fucking fiberglass anymore. But we'll see. Made it through the game. He, he did make it through the game. He did. Um Robbie Anderson with a long touchdown. Yeah, Robbie Anderson. They didn't look great. No. They didn't look great. It was clunky. Very clunky. Um, yeah. Cleveland didn't look great either. Their no. running backs, obviously, yeah. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, that's them. They're going to do them. They're going to get their numbers either way. But yeah. the uh, offensive play, the, the quarterback play looked awful. And it's to be expected. It's uh, What's his name? Who's back there? Jacoby uh, Percet. He – it's – he he's not gonna do great. Amari Cooper didn't get a lot of touches. Uh, no. So it's it's gonna I'll be great. As someone who was hoping David and Joku would get a lot of like work, you I signed him to that catch. contract, so why not? Yeah, I think he had one catch. Yeah, I I didn't understand. I didn't get that. I, I really really didn't get that. Um, but Kareem start- Hunt. I mean, two touchdowns, so That's somehow annoying. the guy ends up being very valuable for fantasy, even though he's That's not the starting annoying. running back. That's so annoying. I'm like, where the fuck is Nick Chubb? I got Nick Chubb on one of my fantasy teams, and I'm like, okay, he's going to get a- nothing. I just see big runs, big runs, and then Kareem Hunt finished the drive off. I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck is happening? I was like, this sucks. But at least he went over. For, I think he went for like 120 yards. So I'm like, okay, I can live with that. Yeah, 141. Wow, 22 yeah, carries. I, yeah, I was like, I can live with that. How about five catches for 102 and a touchdown for Robbie Anderson? Wow, jeez. He yeah. might be back. Fantasy guys, he might be back. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he got a, he got a decent quarterback in Baker Mayfield. So, um, But that does wrap up the 1 o'clock games. And uh, as the, the F4 mentioned, go ahead, man. I mean, you want to talk about this? Fucking wacky ass Giants game. So let's get wacky into it. Ad. I love that game. That game was great. The, the Giants. No, this was a, this, I'm sorry. This game was whack. <laughs> the Giants look good. Saquon looked healthy. Oh, uh, Danny Dimes. For the last five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. 
it, it was it was a fun game in the second half. The first half yeah. was trash. The the second <laughs> half of the second half was very exciting. <laughs> Uh, Other than that, this was very easy to fall asleep to, and I can't blame anyone for not catching how it ended. I could say Saquon looked healthy. He he looks like he's ready to make you know get back to his original form, his first round draft pick form. Saquon uh, looks very good. Yes. Daniel Jones is he's done. He's he's they're gonna be finding a new quarterback next season. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Their receivers are awful. Kadarius so, Tony is probably the only thing they have to rave about. No, no, he he was literally. I think he had like what four plays the entire game. Yeah, but, and that's the thing. Like he's probably their best receiver, and they didn't do anything for him. Like, all right, well, cool. It was it was very strange. I think I think I read he had four snaps. The one that's memorable is the one where he was supposed to throw the ball on a reverse, and he turned he it a five-yard gain, you know, that was kind of impressive because they had him behind the line of scrimmage and he made something out of nothing. But I don't know if Dable doesn't like him. I don't know if the owner doesn't like him. Someone in the Giants organization does not like Kadarius Toney because St- Sterling Shepard – or I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, it. Yeah, it is. That's him. Sterling Shepard. What the fuck's his name? Anyway, Shepard – was on the field way more than Kadarius Tony, Kenny Galladay. This garbage. And, uh, who's the other guy? Oh, Wondell Robinson. And they didn't do anything. That they they often slow. Uh, who's number who's number eighty? Richie James. Richie James <laughs> was on the field more than Kadarius Tony was. Yeah, it was it was, I don't I don't know. Maybe he did something. Someone in New York does not like Kadarius Tony. Something maybe he said something. I don't know. But um the Giants better figure it out. Because if- it's it's possible too, because he's been battling like a hamstring injury, or this or that. I got it is possible that he was more banged up than that you want to I, anyway. I, I, I don't know. I, I just I, I just know the Giants need to get their shit together. That's for sure. Um what was another oh the Chiefs and not Chiefs, yeah, Chiefs and Cardinals. Um Patrick Mahomes look normal. The Chiefs' offense looked normal. Five touchdowns is normal. <laughs> for Patrick oh Mahomes, it is. That's damn good. A five touchdowns is normal. But for for Patrick without Tyreek Hill, yes, that's that's I'm that's. I'm so sorry, fucking Shepherd for Giants, man. I know your name's not. If it is Sterling, I don't think it is Sterling because I'm pretty sure that's the Green Bay Packers receiver. Yeah. I'm so fucking sorry. I did this with Devin White. I was like Devonte White. Now I've. I listen to these episodes afterwards, and I'm like, "Who are you? Like, what an idiot! <laughs> Why do you even try to do this? What are you doing?" Right. Say that. We're wrapping up the third quarter here uh, in the WNBA Finals game two. Las Vegas Aces still up sixty-six fifty-four. I don't think they've been down yet. No, the kid, they're not going to be able to come back, dude. Cause like they, like it's this like every time they think, every time they get like some momentum, they take over. The oh, by the way, um, Apple, I noticed there's no emoji for WNBA basketballs. There's only NBA basketballs. Do better. <laughs> it's 2022. I, I think they can care less about this shit. Oh, no, 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 no. When I go to give a <laughs> thumbs up, there's every shade of the fucking rainbow on there. But when I go to go a basketball, I can't get a WNBA basketball. That's bullshit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. Uh Chiefs Cardinals. Chiefs Cardinals is a good game. Well, it wasn't a good game. If you were Cardinals. Sure. Yeah, Chiefs fans, it was a great game. <laughs> Kyler Murray. <laughs> Woo. Look. They I need to some, put that uh, they, some more film. They need to put that clause back into his contract <laughs> because that shit he he looked he looked terrible. He looked like a deer in damn headlights. Uh, Keith Brown really didn't do anything until that touchdown. And I knew he wasn't because he, again, you physical when you physical. If you play physical against Marquise Brown, you could take him out the game. You you can really take him out the game. The and the only reason why he got that touchdown, that I think the play broke down, and it was just like the corner was just like shit. It is what it is. <laughs> he got away. He got away from me. 
But yeah, no, it's the Cardinals are going to have a long ass season. They're yeah. going to have an extremely long season. They're definitely missing Chandler Jones. The pass rush was not there. Mahomes mm-hmm. all day long. Absolutely. Five touchdowns? Yeah, you keep missing the pass rush. <laughs> you definitely missing the pass rush. Uh, um, but back to that Giants game. Yeah, it was crazy. The Giants ended up pulling off a wicked overtime win, uh, 21 to 20. Another stupid coaching mistake. And I think I feel like Nathaniel Hackett watched that game and was like, hmm, how can I outdo that stupid ass decision? I know. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna waste time, not call timeout, and then kick a 64 yard. That's what I'll do. I, no, I didn't. I, I just didn't. I didn't understand why the Titans decided to get inside. The, I think they were inside the 30 and take a knee. I'm like, you got fucking Derrick Henry. It was you essentially mean? a knee. Yeah, he just kind of like ran to the middle. Yeah. and, and then it's, it's, he didn't really run. He ran and he lost yards. I'm like, Andrews is supposed to go. Lateral and then take a knee. And this I, is after I mean they did earlier in the game they did like an end around on fourth down or third down instead of just giving it to Henry. Go yeah, I was just I was just bad. I'm just like they made decisions. There was some decision. There was like one play where yeah they did the end around. It was like short yardage instead of giving it to Derrick Henry. They decided to do that dumbass end around and <laughs> losing yard. I'm like, what the fuck is going on over here? I'm like, that are you be, trying to stay realize these guys are just human, just like the rest of us. We all want to get tricky. Like I played Noah Brown, uh, you know, in one of my leagues this this week. Like we all want to look like the smartest guy in the room and call that end around when at the halfback dive to Henry's the best play. No, just just don't get cute. Just fucking play. Just call <laughs> your. Just do the plays, okay? Just run the game plan. Don't get cute. Don't 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 get cute with it. Just just run the game plan, and we'll figure it out. But yeah, dude, it it's that it was a, it was a, it was one of those decisions, and it was like, oh, you know, we're gonna we got a gimme field goal. Yeah, okay. And listen, the kickers just shit. I am an Eagles fan for more than a decade now. The, I, if anyone bleeds green, it's this guy. Okay, but <laughs> when I saw. Saquon Barkley and fucking Shepard go over to Brian Dable and like you know give him like the the hug that was like not affectionate but pretty affectionate and they were just pumped up and they were like ah oh, feels so good to be good again like after years of Ben McAdoo and Joe Judge just shitting all over the Giants organization like. It is fine. It's it's nice to see a little bit of success, you know. Finally, like not such depressing New York Giants team. It, it, it's it's gonna it's gonna get it's gonna get depressing again. Just you wait, <laughs> just you wait. It's gonna get depressing again for Giants fans. So they got they got they got a little time to celebrate a win, but hold on, let me see how depressing it's gonna get. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna get super fucking depressing. What do they got next week? Oh, oh, uh, ah! Uh-huh. They oh, they got a home game against who? Carolina. Mm, all right, it may not get depressing. Let them go in here because I know week three they got Cowboys on Monday night. Okay, yeah, but, that might be a reality check. No, 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 not with us. Not with that. We'll get into Cooper, Cooper Rush, Rush, but yeah, you got Cooper Rush, so. <laughs> It, it may, uh, they may they may be on cloud nine for like a good couple weeks. Other four o'clock games we covered the Giants. We covered the Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs won forty four twenty one over the Cardinals. Giants won twenty one to twenty. Titans in a thriller. How about the L A Chargers? That was. Taking down the Las Vegas Raiders 24-19. Derek Carr, Derek Carr is going to lose his job if he doesn't play well with Devontae Adams. I mean, what more do you want? 10 catches, 141, and a touchdown? No, no, I'm not saying – no. The Derek Carr left a lot of points on the table. He turned the ball over. He was careless with the ball. Okay, um, that's fair. There were some plays that he could have made, but he didn't. Um for me, at the end of the day, this is it for Derek Carr. Like he had, you have to get to the playoffs. You you don't have a choice. Like 
You have Devontae Adams. You got uh, Darren Waller. Hunter Renfro, who didn't do shit. Yes. I agree, by the way. I think if he, if they don't get to the playoffs this season, it's it looks bad. It does. After everything they gave up for Devontae Adams, yeah, you, yeah. You, you, you're gonna have to. You, you're gonna have to. And the money you paid him, you're gonna have to let. You might. You, they might be looking into drafting a quarterback. But it's a new they, coach, you know, he's looking at, is this the guy or not? So yeah. I mean, the de- the Raiders defense didn't play outstanding. Um, I want to. I have a question for why Mike Williams was only targeted once. I think once or well, twice. Four targets, but two catches. Yeah. So I'm just uh, I'm just kind of figuring out because he was a or big part of the offense I mean, last year, huh? A guy, a guy you just gave a huge contract to should get more than four targets. Right. Exactly. That's a that's the craziest thing is like all these guys that are getting big contracts, their production it's not there. Like they're not being targeted, not being used. So that's my question. Like, what the hell is going on with these teams? Um, the Chargers look here now. I mean, the lead is we got 72 to 56. Ace is still up. Connecticut Sun. Oh, we might have a free throw. Wow. What? Wow. No, so this- what just happened, folks, is uh, this is very frustrating. The Connecticut Sun had a two on one. And it was executed perfectly until the girl, I'm sorry, woman, my bad, Jesus, I'm already being a misogynist here, until the woman um, who looks like um, Eve with the short blonde hair, until Eve was supposed to go up with a layup, but decided to pass it back to the woman who passed it to her for the points. It ended up being an extra pass, not necessary. And now we have a free throw situation here. But Connecticut Sun still get points out of it, so who am I? Nate, what do you think about the series? <laughs> what do you think about the events that just occurred there? I mean, play, playoff anything is always good. This game is good overall. I just I just made fun of what happened there for sure, but this game is good overall. What do you, what do you mean? Play, but I, I would see it as like this is why like I I don't watch baseball during the season because it's boring as shit. Yes. But playoff baseball, fun, probably the best time to watch baseball. Hockey, same thing. Same, yeah, exactly. Hockey, same thing. It's like any play, any playoff, anything Ooh. is it. it they it just it's a different level. Your girl plumly put it up oh, off the rim. No, nah, she rimmed that shit out. All right. Um the Chargers Raiders game was fun. Um it was Justin Herbert looked good. He yeah. Justin Herbert looks like he's he's still taking his strides. Uh three touchdowns for Herbert. The run game wasn't so much. Austin Eckler wasn't utilized as much as I'm pretty sure he wanted to. No, he didn't really sh- show out. Um, but I Gerald think- Everett looked good though. Huh? Gerald Everett looked pretty good though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I think I think it was just the week one jitters. I think we'll probably see more um this week. Leo Mack showed up on defense. Oh, absolutely. You know he was going to. Um they have the Chiefs this week. They got a Chiefs on a short week. Hmm. So no, yeah, there, there's 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 no rest for the wicked here. So you got to come back and be ready for the Chiefs on Thursday. Yep, no Keenan so, Allen. He will not be in there. Hammy, God, them hamstring injuries, man. I think they're so. Hopefully, Mike Williams. Who's the? I can't think of it. I think it's number five or seven. Like, yeah, they got get, Josh Palmer and then um, Guyton. That's probably going to be their three wide receiver set. So hopefully, Mike Williams can get some. You know some attention. Oh, and DeAndre Carter. Yeah, he. T- that's who. Well, that's his name. With a resurgence. He, yeah, he came, I mean, he came on. He came on strong. My Both, God, two touchdowns. I think. Lighten it up. The final four o'clock game of uh, Sunday slate. Vikings. I mean, really giving it to the Packers. Justin Jefferson. Twenty-three to seven at home in Minnesota. Whew. Torch that ass. This was Kirk Cousins' perfect game at home, 1 p.m. He is not losing this game. Mm-mm, not at all. 
Justin Jeff, I think so. So the, the their new head coach it was the Rams offensive coordinator. So Something he, like so huh? I think so. Right? Yeah, yeah, because he, yeah, he, because every time I hear they talk about Cooper Cup, so so it's he's going to get... know if like Mike McDaniel's in Dolphins. I don't know where he came from. Is, is he San oh, Fran? Like, I don't yeah, know. he came from the the Dolphins. They call he came from San Francisco. Okay, okay. Um, but they're going to Justin Jefferson is going to get his targets. He may be the new Triple Crown winner this year. We'll see. Um, but uh, what is it? One eighty four for two touchdowns. He had one hundred fifty. He had one hundred fifty. Yeah, in the first half. Nine for one eighty four and two. Come on, like they they made sure they gave him the ball. In a um, game where Delvin Cook had twenty carries, I mean they were trying to run the ball. Yeah, so they and they and they and they were able to do it. Um, it's just, it's for it's just for me. Is it what is this what the practice is going to look like? Can they rebound? The defining moment for those who did not watch the game. I mean, second round draft pick Christian Watson breaks open for what would have been a beautiful touchdown. <laughs> I think it was a double move. And he absolutely left the DB in the dust. Aaron Rodgers could not have placed it in his hands any better than he threw the ball. And it falls to the turf. And from then on out, Green Bay looked like dog shit. I mean, it was a horrible it, day from there. And this is and, and I feel like this. For people like Shannon Sharp, who want to criticize Aaron Rodgers for outing his young receivers to the media. <laughs> Listen, shut your mouth, okay? <laughs> shut up. He had the ball here. It was here. How it made it through his basket, through his arms, onto the turf. If I'm Aaron Rodgers, I'm like, go sit on the bench at the other end. Don't fucking move. That's you what think I about what you did. That, I keep okay. It is Sterling Shepard. It's also <laughs> Sterling Sharp. I, I that's what I keep fucking up. I'm like, it's not already <laughs> Sterling Shepard. No, it's Sterling Sharp. Okay, thank you for clearing that up for me. But I I don't know. Um, yeah, Christian Rick, Watson, uh, Sammy Watkins did nothing. Even though a lot of people were like, oh, Week One, Sammy Watkins, watch out. Yeah, watch out for nothing. Romeo Dobbs didn't – he getting a lot of praise, didn't do much of nothing. Probably did the most, but still nothing. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> for me. Green Bay is going to bounce back. Evan Jones, A.J. Dillon, they tried their best. They tried to, to do what they can against that defense, but it wasn't enough. I think this happened with Green Bay last year. I think they started off kind of clunky and all the haters were out. And then, of course, Aaron oh, Rodgers. Yeah. Was they got their asses whipped by the Saints in week one. The Saints That's tore that ass apart That's in right. Jacksonville last year. So it's, it, it's good. It's, I think, I don't think, like I said, if you're a Packers fan, don't panic right now. You'll be fine. They'll be fine. Um, you just got to, they just got to hope they can bounce back from this. The defense was frustrating, though. I mean, they were running zone the entire time, and Dustin Jefferson was just running right through a pick in his spot. Lighting their ass up. I mean, and apparently Jair Alexander kind of hinted that he wished he was on Jefferson a bit more, but that was not the game plan. That That's that's a stupid game plan. That's, that's a very stupid – I'm – if you are a head coach and you come into the game and your star corner is not on a star wide receiver, I'm firing you. I'm okay. I'm, I'm Score definitely of, uh, eighty to sixty here. Vegas still up four twenty left. Connecticut yeah, really over. got a rally here, but there's a chance. Nah, this game's over. This game's over. So we've got Eve down underneath. I, oh, and a nice little shot, mid range jumper from the top of the paint. 6280. Let's go. 18 points. Four minutes. Let's do this thing. Yeah, it's over. They can't. That's, that's another bucket. Another brick. 
<laughs> You're going to watch the rest of the games in this series now. I know I'm you I probably are. will. I'm not going to lie to you. This game is pretty interesting. This is a good game. No dunks, but fuck it. It's fun. I need some, I need some dunks, though. I do need some dunks. I'm tired of, I don't like layups. I don't it's like good. layups. I need dunks. It's illegal in the WNBA to get on your hands and knees and have your teammate – Vault off of your back so you can dunk them off. I need a dunk. I need, I need somebody to get posterized. This is why Shaq said lower the rim two feet, and I think they should lower it to eight feet so so your semi tall players can dunk. E, like it's it's a Williams like it's, number ten for Connecticut is scrappy. Like, I'll say that. Like it's mind boggling the size difference of some of these women. Like in the NBA, everybody kind of looks the same. Like you can okay. see the obviously see the size difference with like Chris Paul or like shorter players, but like there's a, a huge height difference. I like that you brought that up because I've been meaning to ask: Have you ever dated, or would you ever date a woman taller than you? I've never dated anyone taller than me. I wouldn't have a problem with it. Okay. I like it. Here we go. See? I mean, just don't emasculate me. <laughs> That's all I have to Ladies, women, uh, you can find Nate. You know, uh, just check out the show. He's available wherever. You know, send the messages out. All you tall women out there looking for love, he's out there. Um, let's see. What do we want to wrap it up with? Sunday night's game, <laughs> Dallas and Tampa Bay. Woo, my goodness. That game was. Mike McCarthy is fired at the end of this year. <laughs> I'm just, and that that's, that's my prediction for the year. Mike McCarthy is getting fired. I want to say, I want to say mid season, but I don't see Jerry Jones doing that. I don't think it'll happen mid-season, even though, yeah, I wouldn't put it past Jerry to do something wild, but I don't, uh, I don't think, I think he's season, gonna but let, I do agree it'll be Mike McCarthy's last year. He, he's going to let his team suffer. He won, but you know they've always wanted uh, Sean Payton. Yes. That's what or he Or Lincoln was. Riley. Huh? Or Lincoln Riley. So, at this point, it's going to be um, – I think that – Dax out for they say six to eight weeks. Personally, I have a coach in mind. He was caught up in somewhat of an email scandal recently that wasn't his fault. If the there, Dallas Cowboys were no to way. bring John there's, Gruden on board, no way. There's no way they bring John Gruden on board. It would there's, be the first time I ever root for the Dallas Cowboys. So just <laughs> Jerry Jones, think about that. You're converting a Philadelphia Eagles fan. To a Dallas Cowboys fan, if you get Jerry Jones or Jerry Jones, John Cruden to come on board as your head coach, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. But I think Sean Payton, Sean Payton is more viable than um, than anybody else because he has history with Jerry Jones. Now you know Mike Evans did look good. Brady looked fine. I don't think it was like a spectacular showing. Fournette, I mean, you know, Fournette I was great. Line in the offseason that he was fat and out of shape and everyone was making fun of him because he's bouncing off guys. He's making great runs now. And Julio, uh, look, you know, Julio look healthy. Julio looks good, man. The shift from 85 to 6 was a good move, and he looks he looks, he looks good. Healthy. I mean, if I didn't have Mike Evans already in one league, I would add Julio too because yeah. fucking C.D. Lamb, but um, – <laughs> <laughs> if you have, if you if you have any cowboy receivers on your fantasy, drop them. Okay, so here's the deal. I played a guy who had Ryan suck up on his team, and I had Ceedee Lamb on my team. Ryan <laughs> suck up scored 15 points. Ceedee Lamb, a wide receiver, scored three points. His kicker scored five times the amount of points. As CD Lamb, so I'm just gonna throw it out there. Uh, it's time to panic if you're a Zeke oh. owner, a CD owner. 100%. Like, 100%. I need to go back and look at last season to see the one game that Cooper Rush started because CD was heavily targeted, 
So hopefully that's an, a thing again. I don't. Think you're, you're not going to get the big explosive plays that you would with Dak. You're not going. You're going. Are you going? I, I don't. Shit. It's going. It's going to be a bad season for the Cowboys. So you know, as I said, you know the the Bucks defense looks pretty good. Yeah, um, they got they they did pretty well. They got me some. Yeah. They kept them on the three points. They kept them at three points. They didn't let anything happen, so I'm good. I I, I had them on my fantasy. They 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 came through for me. And then finally, to wrap up the NFL weekend, we did have, as Nate mentioned, Seattle Seahawks taking on Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos in Seattle. What a way to start the season. The 12th man, I mean, the, the stadium, I don't know if they're pumping the noise lot. like they do in Atlanta or if, they, if it, was all nat- <laughs> it was all natural. But I tell you, it was, it was a, a hell of a decibel level going on there. Yeah, it, it- it, it was it was good. The, the game started out good. Gino looked Gino looked sharp. He was what twenty? I think he was like twenty one for twenty three, something of that nature for like one hundred and ninety five yards and two touchdowns. Let's see, as you're saying that, yeah, I mean sixteen seventeen. Seattle gets the win. Gino twenty three for twenty eight, one ninety five, yeah. two touchdowns. Yeah, he he was sharp. He didn't turn the ball over. He didn't make any dumb mistakes. Um, they they kept everything simple for him. Um, if you are a DK Metcalf owner and, or a Tyler Lockett owner, um, I won't look. I wouldn't look forward to anything major coming from those two players. Excuse me. I wouldn't. <laughs> Seven catches for DK Metcalf, sir. I mean, sure. Seven, Seven catches for thirty-six yards may seem a little. May seem a little inefficient. That's a little weird. <laughs> he went seven for thirty six is not great. So that's like what, uh, like less than what? Is it five yards a carry? Oh, catch? Give or take somewhere around there. <laughs> it's not great. It's awful. And Maybe no touchdown. A, a screen pass may have gone for <laughs> negative yards. Who knows? <laughs> That's no, that's not no, dude. That's 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 awful. That is an awful, awful, awful stat line. Well, how about this? How about if the the pass to Will Disley for a touchdown early in the hey, game? That was beautiful. Had simply gone to Noah Fant. I win a comeback in a fantasy league of mine. You know that would have been pretty big. Um, if Javante Williams had not fumbled on the goal line. Uh, and, and I win a fantasy game of mine. So it's, it's these little <laughs> one play. You, yeah, know, you, you have a lot of what ifs. <laughs> Truly is a game of inches. That, that's what it sounds like. You had a lot of what ifs. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, fantastic Monday night game. Seattle and the 12th man and uh, Gino really need to soak it in because I think it's going to be a long season after this. But absolutely, they, they stole and a win. The Fuck defense, it. the defense stepped up though. The defense played great, uh, a lot better than I thought they were going to play. I I saw blowout again in this Denver Seahawks game, but I I was wrong. So Nate, as we look into Week Two of the NFL mm-hmm. season, as you mentioned before, Thursday night. Uh, September 15th, we have the L.A. Chargers traveling to Kansas City without Keenan Allen. That's going to be a fun AFC West matchup to watch. I'm going to, I would have to take the Chiefs in this game. Yeah, me too. Uh, this, after week one, seems like a really good matchup. The Dolphins travel to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Both teams one and one, are 1-0. One and oh. Mm, yeah, I think the last time they played, uh, Baltimore hung fifty on them. So I, I can see them wanting to come back and get some, get a little payback. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers one and zero travel to New Orleans to take on Jameis Winston one and zero. Jameis is going to suffer. Okay. Jameis, Jameis is going to. Jameis is definitely going to suffer. Uh oh! So next game is like la- next game is it? If they are they best of five? Oh y'all got to do y'all come on y'all can't ask for more money y'all ain't even paying a best of seven. You got to get what you deserve. Oh, it's best of five. Yeah, it's best of five. That's interesting. 
So we wrap it up here. Uh, WNB Finals, Game 2, Las Vegas Aces. I mean, in control the whole time. There was never any doubt, never any threat. 85-71. I like the fire that the Connecticut Sun plays with. There's uh, uh, a lot of spunk, as they say in this team. You know, they got a lot of heart. Uh, they remind me of the Phoenix Suns in a lot of ways, except mine is 1S. So um, we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. So 2-0 uh, for the series with the Aces. Uh, I'd imagine the next game will be either Thursday or Friday. But, yes, the number one ranked – ooh, Asia Wilson is just tall. Holy shit. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. Asia. Uh, uh, Maybe she – I think she's just tall compared to the lady she's standing next to. I mean, even with her two teammates there. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not going to say smash your pass because that's very degrading, but <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think it's pretty, it's pretty obvious you, we both would take Asia Wilson out to a nice dinner. Or am I wrong? <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Uh, next, uh, games next week here. Your Atlanta Falcons traveled to LA to take on the Rams. How are you feeling about this? Taking the Rams. Taking the Rams. <laughs> not, it, that, that's not even a contest. Taking the Rams. Like we don't have we don't have fucking wideouts. Uh your boy Zacchaeus fucking fumbled. Hey, he also uh, uh was very sick. ineffective. If not for Zacchaeus, the Falcons don't even come close to winning that game. Anyway, you keep talking. What, did, what, did, uh, what did Brian Edwards do? Nothing. What did Drake London do? Five catches. That's it. Kyle Pitts didn't do shit. The kid, first, maybe it, it was it was Cordero Patterson. Oz. Cordero Patterson did it all. Yeah, he he did a lot actually. <laughs> <laughs> but the defense, the defense was really pivotal. I, I, I would be very I happy. Played great. Run. Yep. If we if we can with the Rams offensive line, and I think they just lost one of their starting their starting linemen. So I think if we can keep that pressure, we can force Stafford to make mistakes. We may have a chance to to do something, but we'll have to see. Um, also, Sunday night game is the Chicago Bears traveling to Green Bay, as we talked about before. Who you got in that one? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take Green Bay. I'm gonna take Green Bay because Green Bay was embarrassed. They were humiliated, and I don't see them going. They don't. I don't see them taking on Chicago and just like laying another goose egg. The interesting think- thing is, I think, and you're not alone here. You were noticeably less confident than you would have been last year, right? I mean, this team. It, it wasn't just. A little bit clunky, like Aaron Rodgers. Everything was bad throughout the game. Everything, yeah. He didn't look. Aaron Rodgers didn't look great. the The offensive line struggled in pass protection. They struggled to run the ball. Um, his receivers couldn't catch the ball. They couldn't get separation. <laughs> it was a lot. It was it was a lot. So I I I, I see I see uh, Green Bay. Taking on Chicago, they, it's gonna be a revenge game. It's gonna be like, "Hey, fuck you, we're not done yet." And it looks like we have like a weird double header situation here, from what I'm seeing on NFL.com for Monday night. Yeah, Eagles and Vikings, and I don't know who the other game is. Bills Titans are supposed to be at seven fifteen. Yeah. yeah, so Bills Titans, Eagles Vikings. So huh. it's 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 you going to be that? yep because they usually do it week one. Well, for whatever reason, they didn't do it week one this time. Because usually week one has the two Monday night games. Interesting. Okay, so you got the Bills, who looked, I mean, just red hot. And their matchup against the Rams, taking on the Titans, who lose a heartbreaker uh, at home against the Giants. I would imagine the Bills are favored in that one, probably by more than a field goal. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely by – I think they, they should be favored by at least seven. And then you have – the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Minnesota Vikings at home. That's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Uh, I'm very much into the Eagles on this one. When we did our prediction show, when I did it with um, Philly Perk and uh, on the Strikeout Beer Show, I couldn't help but mention 
Kirk Cousins is awful when it's not Sunday and it's not one o'clock. He's terrible <laughs> in prime time. He just cannot perform, and especially on the road, I think it's going to be a win for the Eagles. May not be. It might be another ugly win, but definitely win for Philly. Um, Nate. Uh huh. I think I think the game. I think the Eagles will, will take because I just feel like with AJ Brown and Devontae Smith, who didn't do shit against the Detroit Lions, um, that Vikings defense is gonna have to like play defense. They didn't really have to do much against the the Packers, so we'll see. It's it's, it's gonna be an interesting game. No doubt. Um. You know what? Before we get out of here, we talked a lot of NFL. Talked a lot of college football. But there was, as I said before, the Nate Diaz Tony Ferguson fight. And Nate Diaz had a press conference that I thought was just absolutely legendary. So I figured we could go through it while we watch some highlights here of uh, baseball. I mean, wow. How much baseball have we talked? Probably none. The playoffs are getting ready to start. So start next month. So we might want to freshen up about the baseball, right? So let's, uh, you know, we'll probably get demonetized here, but that's fine because we don't really make any money. Hopefully, Dana White won't send the FBI after us. But I wanted to catch some of this post-fight press conference with Nate Diaz here and see what the. The, the man, the myth, the legend himself had to say after beating Tony Ferguson with a guillotine choke in UFC 279. You were obviously preparing for Hamza, so you probably did a lot of grappling and wrestling and defense. And obviously, Tony and you and then when he shot him for a takedown, you grabbed that guillotine. And Tony was under the impression that he probably practiced this a lot. I was about to stand and snatch that a few times. He's him on my shooting, and I was like, let me go back a little bit because I don't want to miss Nate. There was a point here when Nate um, does something legendary. You know, uh, recently there was an occasion where at a, a press conference, a tennis player, a woman's tennis player brought a beer to her post-match um, press conference and drank the beer while she had her post-match press conference. Is that a cigarette? I think maybe Nate Diaz was trying to emulate or pay tribute to or do something revolutionary Next here. Next question. Nate, uh, to your left, congratulations. But uh, to answer your question, What is this Nate, ranking no, that in is your not mind among your, your greatest victories in the UFC? I, I believe. I like it because it, it was... Uh, 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 the, I believe after extensive research contract. and a little bit of knowing Nate Diaz's background, that is in fact performance in the way. You, a you marijuana you cigarette. an OG in there, so... Uh, the fact that you're beating a guy that you have respect for. I do believe Ferguson Nate Diaz is right it, now, uh, as that, we speak, that make you feel good? smoking reefer as he does a post-fight press conference. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got the job done. Uh, uh, mission complete. Sure. Although I think this was in a state what where it's was, legal. Uh, He's high as shit. You're, you're you know, striking bit. against him. You know, Did you feel like you were hurting him a lot as you were opening up on him as the fight went along? <laughs> Yeah, I felt like that uh, later I was going to get. Also, the vibe that I got was like, you're a little bit jittery, right? Like, you you know you're in front of all these cameras. It's your first time smoking I, I'll leave this fucking last weed while is, you're in front uh, of all these people. So the where's my says, ashtray? You know, you like, I don't want to look like an idiot. I, I know this is going to be on sport, social media. Then you left so I want to look cool. There's a little bit of, like, shakiness. What is it going to be that would bring you back? This can be real. This can be happen. That you see a oh, fighter that, that you feel those like DS a fighter. Are, they are like, characters. They're just, hey, They're I want to chase wild, a championship. Man. What would get you to come back after you do your thing? But you can't fuck with them, though. No. That's the thing. Like, they, they got black Air Force energy, and they are not to be fucked with. I have no plans on being back in the UFC. I, I have no plans in, on not being back. In the UFC. Did I say that? So he wants to come back. Uh, Tony said that, but he doesn't. You were obviously preparing, but he doesn't want to obviously come back. Probably did a lot of grappling and wrestling, but he doesn't want not want to come obviously back. Obviously, Tony and you <laughs> kept it standing, 
And when he shot him for a takedown, you grab that guillotine. And Tony was under the impression that he probably practiced this a lot. I was about to stand, snatch that a few times. Did you see him almost shooting? And I was like, I to get the fuck out of there. Now, there was a weird point in this fight that I don't know if they asked him about, but he kind of just like walked around. Tony, Tony thought that you had practiced and that so was much. like telling Tony to fuck off. Was like was delaying, delaying the fight. For that. From what I saw in the comments, a lot of people think that in life, Tony Ferguson's leg kicks were fucking him up, joke. and he was trying to like stall. Congress so that's interesting. Uh, very you watch possible. Hamzat's fight. Can I? Yeah, I was watching on the one minute. What did you make of his performance? <laughs> Lame, scared, boring, rookie, whack, pussy, lame. Between him and his brother, I don't know who's worse. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. All the, all those in. <laughs> what do you think he has Lame, pussy, whack. A lot of people <laughs> seem to think that he shot in under Kevin Holland's trying to. Oh, man, I love it. Dude, those two, dude. If, we, if you Dana White, you got to try to keep these dudes around. Like, they, that's a lot right. of entertainment. There's a lot of entertainment with those two. Never ending. Never. Nate, before we get out of here, I mean, anything you want to say to the fans, the folks, anything uh, you want to plug, anything you got coming up? Is there anything on Black Mass Gaming going on? Uh, right now, it's under construction. We're in the works of trying to get it back up and running. So, at, at, at the moment. But we hopefully to have it up and running very soon. I love it. UJ Bulldogs ranked number one, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Alabama couldn't stay at number one after I'm losing to Texas. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. We are officially now on Tuesdays as Nate has been super flexible with his schedule. You know how it is. <laughs> Things happen here and there. But, you know, it was a fantastic weekend of football. Yes, the opening uh, weekend was awesome. Bro, oh my god. It kind of sucks we're not going to see Keenan Allen this Thursday night, but other players on full display. I mean, you saw what DeAndre Carter can do, so. Right. Unfortunately, the Connecticut Sun come up short tonight. One game for elimination. That's right. Aces just looking like the machine they've been all season long. I love that we have converted Nate into a WNBA fan. I, I wouldn't say that. No, I, I, again, it's playoffs. So playoffs are usually, playoffs usually attract me. So we'll see. The defense, the, the, there was still some, there was some uh, little transition that was like, really? It was a little awful. But I'm not going to lie, it was a pretty interesting game. MFers, thank you so much for the support. I mean, the lessons on... All the podcast platforms have been great. The support on YouTube, all the views have been great. I mean, for two guys doing this on their couch, we couldn't ask for more. So thank you guys so much for the strong community we built here. And we will see you next week. Peace. Yep.